Countless visitors from across the globe will surely fall for the romance of the Golden Gate Bridge. But across the bay, its older sibling, the Bay Bridge, is considered the Bay Area's workhorse. A six-lane, double-deck bridge, eight miles long. This Saturday will mark the 75th anniversary of the opening of the Bay Bridge. Bob McKee remembers opening day had a lot of similarities to modern times. We watched a lot of traffic, and there was a number of accidents from people just gawking, and I think some people were just celebrating. Though builders didn't break ground until 1932, the first mention of the bridge was in the 1800s by San Francisco's most famous eclectic citizen. It was back in about 1872 that Emperor Norton issued his decree directing that a suspension bridge be built forthwith between the cities of San Francisco and Oakland. It wasn't until the 1930s that engineering caught up to Norton's vision. The bridge took three years to build at a cost of $77 million. When it opened, the toll was 65 cents each way, but it's impossible to put a price tag on the economic engine it unleashed. You really needed that direct connection between San Francisco and the East Bay. So not only just for commerce, for normal commuting. While the bridge doesn't share the fame of the Golden Gate, it has plenty of tales of its own. For instance, in 1986, Rebecca Galley was born in a traffic jam between Towers W5 and W6. Ran into heavy traffic and my father uh, was, you know, studying medicine, so did a fairly well job of delivering me, I'd say. <laughs> But its most infamous moment was its failure in the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. Twenty years later, a replacement eastern span is rising from the bay waters. And the importance of replacing that one has to do, obviously, with seismic safety. Um, and when it's done, uh, it'll, it'll be much stronger for generations to come. The self-anchored suspension span will have the latest seismic technology, pedestrian and bike paths, and a sleek modern look. And hopefully, 75 years from now, it will have its own cake to celebrate. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.